What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Adrian Graphics and Marketing video. I hope you guys all had a great 4th of July and a great weekend. As you may have seen, I didn't post anything on Monday because I was busy with family, taking care of my family and just prioritizing that. I needed to go out and have some of what they call the F word, some fun, some things that I don't do enough of in my life. So I got to celebrate and have some fun on the 4th of July and celebrate freedom, another F word. Uh, and so with a lot of the things that are happening that are coming in our society right now with COVID, uh, I felt like it was important to make a video and start another video series on how to get more business, how to find clients, how to actually make them become clients, and then actually how to take them into the next step and get real value out of them over the long period of time. So today we're gonna talk about clients and I'm just gonna walk you guys through how I get clients and how you can go out and get new clients if you're struggling for business. With some of the lockdowns that have been happening, it makes it really hard to be able to go out there and meet face to face with people, but there's still strategies and ways where you can get in front of people and make more offers. As you know, one of my strategies and one of my secrets that I talk about in business and in sales specifically is making more offers. That is the foundation of getting more business in the door and building a big business or a bigger business than you could even imagine is just making more offers. A lot of people don't go out there and put themselves out there and make offers build relationships and make offers. So today we're gonna to talk about that and how you can get yourself in front of people that you can make offers to and then they can either say yes or no. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll into it. All right, what's up everybody? This is Adrian Boysell. Please make sure you hit the like and subscribe and definitely share this video with a fellow entrepreneur or friend. This channel is all about mentorship, business mentorship specifically. So if you can go back and watch some of the Project Grow episodes, there's a lot of amazing content that we pump out. But I really need your guys' like, the thumbs up on the, on the video, as well as a comment introducing yourself if you're new here. We do have a bunch of new subscribers, so I thank you guys if you're new and you're watching this. I think it's very important that I thank you guys and just say that I'm proud of you for making your way to this channel and watching this video today. But today's video is exciting to me because this is something that I've had to master over my 14 years in business as an entrepreneur and learn how to get myself in front of people to make more offers. And so if you wanna do that, you gotta be able to find good clients. And a lot of people miss that. They get themselves in front of just anybody and they're just desperate for business in the beginning. And I don't want you guys coming from that perspective. I want you guys to come from a perspective of you are the authority, you are the expert, and you are the professional in your field and you deserve to have clients that are gonna treat you with that respect, that are gonna value your time and value your talent. So in order to do so, you need to be able to look places and find clients that are gonna value that. So where are those people? Well, if you're like me, I have a few different verticals that I go into. I don't know if you're a web designer, you may be a YouTuber, you may be a graphic designer, you may be some sort of an artist, or just any kind of creator in general, just a small business owner. If you are a B2B guy and you work with other businesses, then what you're gonna to need to do is put yourself in front of people that actually spend money on advertising and spend money on marketing, specifically advertising. That's what this video is gonna be about today, is the people that are spending money on advertising are hungry. And those are the people that you want. They know that if you can deliver them results and actually give them an ROI, they will keep spending money with you. And so those people are the hungry people and they're on all different kinds of platforms. You think about it, you got thumbtacks, you got Google search, you got Facebook ads. There are clients and people spending money online every single day, millions and millions of dollars. And these are opportunities for you to get yourself in front of them. So how do you do that? Well, with, for the sake of time, I could go in depth of really some of the deeper strategies you can do in terms of prospecting. But one of the quickest strategies that you can do to get in front of people is to actually go spend money and to acquire customers. There's only three ways to acquire a customer. You're either gonna hire a salesperson and go out and get them. You're gonna get word of mouth or you're gonna pay for customers, which is advertising. Well, there are different ways to go about it. If you're a, a, going after a high ticket client, those customers are gonna be very expensive. For the clients that we have, they range between 5,000, 10,000, sometimes $20,000 a month. For us to acquire a client like that, it's gonna cost us a few thousand dollars. So if I can go out there and actually do business with somebody else, a local business owner, a small mom and pop, whether it's a carpet cleaner, an HVAC guy, a plumber, a roofer, a contractor, doesn't matter what it is, what business you're going after, in the home services industry, there are thousands of verticals. You got dryer vent cleaning and appliance repair and tree trimming. I mean, thousands of thousands of different industries find something, you can do limos, you can do wraps. There's so many different people that are in small business situations where you can put yourself in front of them and say, hey, I need to order a banner, or hey, I need to get my carpets cleaned, or hey, I need to get my blinds redone, or hey, I need to get my pool cleaned. 
tons of industries that you can go after. So the key is, is to go to these places like Google, and if you type in carpet cleaner near me, you're gonna see three ads up top. You're gonna see the maps, and then you're gonna see organic listings, which are people that have ranked over a period of time and have spent a lot of money on organic listings to get themselves there. They didn't spend money on advertising to get there. They've been marketing their website, growing their content, growing their authority online. So those people right there probably do not have the highest demand, but the people who are advertising in the maps and the people who are advertising down in the, and actually in the top listings and in the very bottom listings, those are great people because they're spending money. The same thing goes for Thumbtack. If you go to Thumbtack and ask for a quote for a carpet cleaner, you're gonna get a bunch of three, four, five different quotes. When they come out to your house with whatever deal they offer you, because you can get a carpet cleaner out for 59, 69, $79, you are going to be paying for a conversation. You're not paying to close a deal. You're not pushing anything. You're not having to email them and send them Facebook messages and cold call them and send them text messages and do all these outside the box type of approaches. You can very simply just give somebody money in your community and in your area, in a specific vertical that you wanna go after, a niche that you wanna go after, and you can give them money. And that gives you the opportunity to have a face-to-face -face conversation and a dialogue with them and say, hey, do you love doing what you do for a living? Oh man, I love it. What got you into carpet cleaning? And just start a conversation, right? That's how relationships are built. That is my strategy whenever I'm doing something is if it's my pest control guy coming out to do my office, or if it's my guy, my pest control guy coming out to do my house, or if it's my landscaper. If I wanted to go after landscaping, I bring out a bunch of different landscapers, get a bunch of different quotes, and have a conversation. The chances of me getting one of those guys that are hungry is pretty high and all I have to do is find out if they're hungry or not those are the people that you want to work with people who are hungry who are passionate and love what they do and those are the qualifying questions that I ask and they're not pushy sales questions it's hey do you love what you do oh man I love it how'd you get into it and you're you're actually asking them questions and building that relationship with them super super important and it costs you 80 bucks to have that conversation if they tell you no no problem my brother actually has done this quite a bit and we've talked about this a number of times of hiring he's hired three or four carpet cleaners and he had a carpet cleaning business while he had a carpet cleaning business just to see what they were doing, just for the research, just to see how they dealt with them, how they upsold them. So there's a lot of things that you can learn from bringing out businesses to, to do services for you and not all of them are expensive. You can do pretty affordable services with people. So just think about it from that perspective. Uh, one of the conversations that you can have with these people is if they are on Thumbtack, they are on HomeAdvisor, they are on, on some of these uh, lead generation websites, when they advertise on there, those are usually shared leads. 99% of the time they're being, those leads are going to two or three of the competitors. So if they're the ones that called you first, there's a high chance that they're the most hungry, they're the most passionate, and they probably paid a pretty good amount of money for that lead. So they value you as a customer more than the other people. And they're the ones that are gonna answer their phones when they get inbound customers from you. If you're, if you're a lead generator or a marketer or somebody that's gonna provide a service to them, you can actually help them a lot. So you really wanna focus on the people that are hungry, that are passionate, and that are ready for your business. And then you can have the conversation. You can say, look, you're buying leads from Thumbtack. That's how you found me. This is actually what I do. What if I could actually get you leads for cheaper than what you're paying? They were exclusive to you. And instead of building Home Advisor's brand or Angie's List brand or Thumbtack's brand, we could build your name and your reputation and build brand awareness about what you're doing. And then you're not competing against the 7% of the customers that are out there that are ready to buy now. You can actually, it's like an iceberg where most of the business is the 93% is under the water, is below the surface. The people that are gonna do business with you in a month, two months, three months, or 12 months from now, they're not ready to make a purchase right away, but you're actually competing when you advertise with all the other businesses for that 7%, a very small percentage, so it's very competitive. So if you don't have a system on the back end to nurture that relationship, once you bring them in and pay for them and, and you do that advertising, then it's a really, really expensive lead. So what I do is I tell them, hey, what if we could put a system on the back end so that even if people aren't ready and they're just shopping right now, that in a month, two months, three months, when they are ready to purchase from you, that you're the top of mind company. That adds a whole level of value. So you're gonna save more money by not having to buy shared leads from these other sites. You're gonna get a better quality service and you're gonna have me, you have a relationship with me. It's not Angie's List, it's not some guy on the phone that you're gonna to try to have to fight with. So these are really good ways to approach a relationship with a potential client and share what you can do with them. Get in front of them. The whole key is to start conversations and make more offers. So that's my encouragement for you guys today. You gotta to know who a good client is versus a bad client. The people that are advertising and spending money are more likely to be good clients. They're the ones that are gonna to wanna to be willing to spend a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars, or maybe more per month. 
Don't worry about going after the huge clients, especially if you're new. Just focus on building a base of small clients and building up that foundation and that revenue and building your reputation, getting results, and then utilizing them for testimonials and other things that will help you lead to getting to the big clients. It takes some time to do that. I'm just now treading into those waters and it's making a big impact, but these are just some tips I wanted to give you. Go after the people that are advertising and that are spending money and that have a huge demand for their business. Some of the lower ticket stuff like carpet cleaning, huge demand. Um, you know, HVAC, huge demand. People want to be comfortable, right? They want to, well, they want that convenience. A lot of those lower ticket things um, are much easier to get in front of those types of people. Tree trimming, landscaping, pool cleaning. Those are very easy, low hanging fruit type clients that will do business with you and they will spend money. So that's my encouragement for you guys today. I wanted to give you that. This is phase one or video one of the three videos that we're going to do. So if you like this, if this was helpful to you, if you got value out of this, please share this with a friend. I want to help as many mentor as many entrepreneurs as possible in the marketplace. I want to help them with marketing. I want to help you guys with your creative businesses. And if you're a creator, definitely share this with your fellow creators. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Hope you have a great week and I'll see you guys on the next one. God bless. And as always, keep looking up.